What is up guys this is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we will talk about aspect ratio, what is aspect ratio is and how you can change the aspect ratio in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. So what is aspect ratio is? Aspect ratio is the ratio between the width and height of your video resolution. So if the resolution of your video is 1000 by 1000, then the aspect ratio of your video is 1 is to 1. And if the resolution of your video is 2000 pixel by 1000 pixel, then the aspect ratio of your video is 2 is to 1. So that is the simple thing. The ratio between the width and height of your video resolution is called aspect ratio. The commonly used aspect ratio is 16 to 9, which is this video you are watching at. And in the previous day, the television industry used 4 is to 3 as their aspect ratio. But nowadays, most of the television use 16 to 9. And usually the cinema or movie aspect ratio is 20 is to 9 or 18 is to 9. So let's see how we can change the aspect ratio of our video in Adobe Premiere Pro. In Premiere Pro, it is a great idea if you just begin the video editing with your desired aspect ratio i mean when you start editing the video if you make your sequence according to your need then you will not face any problem so in premiere pro if you want different aspect ratio rather than your video aspect ratio then you need to make a sequence according to a need so here you can see if i just show the properties of this video i'm right clicking here and then if i click property you can see the image size is 1920 into 1080 which is 16 by 9 aspect ratio video so if i just drag it down here in my timeline then the aspect ratio of my final video will be 16 by 9 but i don't want that i want a square aspect ratio i mean one is to one aspect ratio so that i can post it on facebook or you may want to have a aspect ratio that is 9 by 16 which is the vertical format for tiktok instagram or facebook so to make a different aspect ratio video you need to right click here then you need to select new item then sequence you need to click here then you can choose a template usually i choose a template from digital slr if i just expand it then i can select 1080p then i can select 1080p 24 fps sequence if you just click here then if you go to here in the settings section then you will see some property so this is the thing that we need to change which is video frame size if i change this horizontal and vertical video size then it will change the aspect ratio of our video so first let us make a 1 is to 1 aspect ratio sequence if i just click here and then if i just type 1080p and here is 1080p also you can see the aspect ratio is 1 is to 1 then you can name your sequence i am just naming it 1 is to 1 then if i just click ok it will make a square aspect ratio sequence so if i just drag this video here then it will show me a message which is clip match mass burning this clip does not match the sequence settings change the sequence to match the clip setting if i just clip clip existing setting then this video will place like that you can see there is a black bar here on the top and the bottom to fill the full video then you need to select the video then you have to go to effects control panel if you don't see effects control panel then you can go to window then enable effects control then under motion section you can scale up your video just scale it up it will fill the full frame so if i just play it back you can see this video is not 16 by 9 now it is a square video if i export it it will stay just like this so now let me show you how we can change the spec ratio from 16 is to 9 to 9 is to 16 which is the vertical format for tiktok facebook instagram etc again we need to go to here then we need to click new item then sequence you can see like digital slr dslr 1080p then you can go to settings section and change the frame size now we need to just swap the frame size from horizontal to vertical so first one we need to write 1080 then the second one which is the vertical we need to write 1920 now i can name it 9 to 16 then i have to click ok it will make a vertical sequence now if i just drag this video again it will show the message again click keep existing setting select the video then go to effects control panel and then adjust the scale to fill the full frame now you can play it back if i export this video it will stay like this and you can just upload it on tiktok 
or Facebook or Instagram to fill up the full space of your mobile screen. Now let's assume that you have already made a project which is 16 to 9. If I just show you here is a project that I have edited last day. If I just click it will open. So this is a 16 to 9 project. But now you want to convert this project to 1 to 1. How you can do that? You need to go to sequence then you have to click sequence settings from here you can change the frame size so it is a 4k sequence which is 3840 into 2160 to make it a square sequence you can just write here 2160 then if you click here it will show a warning then you need to click ok this video is now is a one to one sequence now you need to change the scale property of all clip to fill it up in a in better way you can just scale it up again you can just scale it up so that is how you can convert any existing sequence to a different aspect ratio sequence that is all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye